very, very bad. The Muslim clerics in the north came and, 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 and sold this fraudulent Muslim, Muslim ticket, and we have Muslim vice president, Muslim president. Our people in the north are saying, inflicting a lot more pain on Muslims. What President Bola Metunibu should be doing right now is to focus his energy on the security aspects. Nigeria is not secure. Boko Haram are doing their own. The Fulani Hesme are doing their own. Or no governments are doing their own. Even in those states, the courtism are doing their own. Everywhere, Kinapas are doing their own. And the Jihadists are doing their own. Akadas are doing their own. The whole country is in total mess right now. Tenibu should at least show more concern towards security. So I want you guys to watch this particular video on how this man who voiced out to say that President Bola Ahmed Tenibu is not showing concern towards security. Even recently, the bomb blast that occurred in Kaduna and they said it was deliberately hard, though the army came out to defend themselves and give reasons why they did what they did. So I want us to watch this particular video. We'll be right back. And I'll tell you, security, our president and commander-in-chief, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, from his words, deeds, and body language, he's not interested in security. All he's interested in is the economy where the money is. He's planted his people. Security, banditry, and all that appears irritants to him. But in fairness to him, he responded very quickly no, to this. You, uh, and I'm just hearing that he's just returned to Nigeria. Yeah, he blocked. Um, and, and he um, is ordered an investigation, condoled with the families. And that's a, that's, that's what, that's a presidential thing to no, do, isn't it? No, it's not. It's presidential thing you are hands-on. Mr. President, we don't see him hands-on on our security. This is a democracy. We are literally what we are saying, what is looking like our military is not supervised by a civilian authority. They have gone rogue, dropping bombs on our people. They are not answerable to anybody. In the United States, where I live, where we copy this presidential system, the military is subordinate to civilian authority. Where are our ministers of defense? Our ministers of defense have been reduced just to chaperoning uh, service chiefs to security meetings. They are the ones to appear, not, not, not uniform services. They are just there talking, looking like what? So the president has literally outsourced our security to, to, to uniform services, to, 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 to the military. No, military take orders from civilians in a democracy. And no young operative should be allowed to drop a bomb without escalating. That is why whatever Mr. President is planning to do, investigation, the military, Mr. President, cannot investigate itself. We've had several incidences of that. Have we had anything about this? Our recommendation, I will continue to raise our voices. There should be an independent, independent judicial panel headed by a retired former CJN. And there should be a former chief of uh, uh, service chief there with traditional rulers, with religious leaders, with CSOs that are looking at protecting civilians. The military cannot, cannot, has not been able to investigate itself. So the, ch the chief of army staff coming to say we are investigating. No, Mr. President, do the right thing. Bring an independent judicial panel to investigate these occurrences. Mm. And... Suspend the military, suspend all drone activities within that area until this thing is sorted out. Because what is has shown us is that your people are not capable, are not trained enough to protect our people. I you are going to bomb people. If there if, if are terrorists there, you abort. You don't drop a bomb to fry women and children. It's not acceptable, it's reprehensible, and people must take responsibility from chief of defense staff, chief of army staff, General officer commanding in Kaduna, they are the ones that are responsible and only an independent judicial panel can investigate them and let us see what the pre and post mission assessment is. And the, the, the crime scene should not be contaminated. The military will not investigate itself. This is reprehensible, unacceptable, should not be allowed to go to be swept under the carpet like they've been done before. Uh, as you know, we operate in a joint operation. It's joint, jointness is what we operate on now, and which means everybody has a role to play. Um, the Army has air, because the, you understand that we have the Army Aviation have been established. Uh, the Air Force has its own. 
And uh, the drones are also, these are enablers that we use for modern warfare. And so um, the pilots are well trained and um, well prepared for the operation. Uh, I just want to remind individuals that it is a war we're fighting. And mistakes, we make mistakes. Uh, as human beings, we all make mistakes. And this is just one of them. It was not deliberate. Um, they were on, after uh, receiving an, uh, an information on the threat of attack within the general area, and they followed up, and they saw the trait of individuals moving similarly just the way the terrorists also move. And then they went to congregate under a tree just the way it is. And um, I think from there, they felt it was, uh, uh, it was time for them to act, and then they reacted. It was based on intelligence, but I think they just missed it. And uh, we just want to convey to Nigerians to understand that uh, mistakes are... Uh, human and uh, it is highly regrettable and uh, we'll make amends and we we'll ensure that uh, we look back and see where these mistakes came from and then to be able to make sure that we get them properly and to avoid such mistakes. It is our duty to protect civilians, not to harm them, especially uh, our own citizens. Uh, it is highly unfortunate. Uh, this is what we call uh, similarly to blue on blue when you hit your own inadvertently and it is highly regrettable. He who is not angry when there is a just cause to be angry is immoral. This is unacceptable. For a military, our military that is supposed to protect us, dropping ordinance and killing our people. They did it once there, they did it again. What it showed for me is one, sheer incompetence. The young operative that was there in front of the screen did not do that alone. If he did that alone, why did he have the authority to do that alone? There must have been a chain of command that he escalated that to, that gave him the authority to do what he did. Number two, isn't there, don't they have intelligence? These were women and children. And we saw their clips when they were celebrating before these guns, these this bombs were dropped at them when they became charcoal. Women and children. And you tell us they are terrorists? Don't you have your people on the ground? What is intelligence for? Shows clear incompetence. It shows there is no supervision along the chain of command. I'm a physician. If my juniors do anything wrong, they don't do anything until they escalate to me. What is the chain of command? That you allow a young operative, wherever he is, just to press a button to go and incinerate our people. This is not the first time. It's happened before in Borno. It's happened in Nasara recently. I was here, we talked about that. It happened in, 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 in Zamfara. It happened in Benue. It's on and on. And each time the military comes and tells us it was a mistake, regrettable. Well, guess what? This one mistake too many. And all of these things happen in the north. That's why I'm saying the optics are very bad for the military. Very, very bad. The Muslim clerics in the north came and, 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 and sold this fraudulent Muslim, Muslim ticket. And we have Muslim vice president, Muslim president. Our people in the north are saying, Muslims, you're inflicting a lot more pain on Muslims. You close the border along all seven, seven northern states because of your, you want to go to war with Niger. You are inflicting pain on top of that. Now you are killing Muslims. And look at the military hierarchy. People have been mischievous. Look at the operation of military hierarchy and look at their religion. They need to be very careful. The military needs to be very careful and start doing damage control fast. Meeting community leaders, traditional rulers, religious leaders. And stop issuing these annoying, stupid statements from, from DHQ. So, I mean, Professor Usman, Yusuf, you're, you're, you have a lot of experience, not just in terms of public policy, but certainly in terms of um, issues that are related to security. I mean, you worked with the, um, chief of, the former chief of defense staff, uh, secretary to the committee that negotiated the release of the last batch of hostages. What is the solution to this security crisis, not just in the north, but in other parts of Nigeria as well, such as the southeast? Is it necessarily political and not military? What would your recommendations be? I have be? said it time and time again. 
all these major three conflicts you have in Nigeria, from banditry in the northwest and the north central, now it's going to the northeast, to Boko Haram, to the IPOB issue in the southeast. None of these problems are military. The military did not bring uh, banditry. Neither did it bring uh, Boko Haram or that. This is all as a result of corruption and bad governance. Politicians brought this mess and the military is brought in to clean up after their mess. Mm. And the military is thinking they are going to solve this problem because of the, the past president, Mr. President Muhammad Buhari, thought and looked at banditry just in the prism of, of military. I've said it time and time again, there's a role for the military. There is not going to be a military solution to any of these three, three conflicts because... In the history of warfare, nowhere have conflicts like this been won on the battlefield. Mm. And they're saying no dialogue, no dialogue. Whoever says that doesn't know what he's talking about. Dialogue is a legitimate tool of warfare everywhere in the world. You must dialogue. Currently, as we speak, the governor of Borno State last week said there are over 160,000 Boko Haram, uh, repentant, uh, repentant Boko Haram. They didn't come because you go killing. By dialoguing and getting them, you have done one thing and you've gotten them off of the battlefield. Mm. And you must solve this problem. The military, Nigeria military, is spread all, all across 36 states. Does not have the capacity we know, doesn't have people on the, on the ground. We've been to nine forests, there's not a single soldier in our forest. They are dropping ordnance thinking they won this war, they win this war by, by, by dropping ordinances. No. We need to look at, we need to back off. There's a role for the military. There's not going to be a military solution. It's a whole community approach. Everybody must be involved. The current leadership of the military, their body language and what they are talking about, they are being hawkish. There's a reason. They are rattling the cage for more money. Well, guess what? They've gotten more money. The little budget we have, they have the largest, the, the lion's share. Now, as a Nigerian, what is your thought about these four issues? what this guy just said, what the army did, and the security aspect of Nigeria, why the government is not even showing concern. All they have been doing is asking for budget for office of uh, the vice president, asking for billions of naira for the office of first lady, asking for billions of naira to buy more bulletproof uh, cars for the Senate, asking for billions from... For the revenue of that, they are just asking for the save themselves. None of them have even raised the voice to say, okay, for the aspect of security, now why can't we just do something, put on more money to secure the country? Why can't we fix this area? Why can't we look up to this area? Now, these things are happening again, repeating himself over and over, started from the time of Gulok Ebele Jonathan, passed to Muhammad Buhari, now the time of uh, Bola Metinib. Nobody is even showing concern. The only thing they care about is how to secure themselves, not Nigerians that put them in power. I want you to comment your thoughts. What do you think about these particular issues? And comment your thoughts in the comment section. Until we meet again, please, if you have not subscribed, do. If you do, turn on your notification bell so that you wouldn't miss out any of our official uposts. Until we meet again, stay tuned to Plumbit TV. Peace out. <laughs> Everybody make you wake up on Plan B TV. I give you the news as in the hot You subscribe and give them your thumbs up. I then go give you the updates. They are the new blocks in the town. Now they go give you the gist though. Now they go give you all the news. Cause it's kind of weather you need all the fun. Oh. I said, now who they are so now Plan B TV. Plumbi TV. I say na who they are so na Plumbi TV. Plumbi TV. I say na who they are so na Plumbi TV. Plumbi TV. Plumbi TV. Plumbi TV. Eh eh. Plumbi TV.